All right, so we get to Melbourne. Uh, it's perfect because we get late and the camping is absolutely wonderful. I love it. Then I'm gonna put the name of the, oh, I'm touching the table because the table is warm as well the kitchen. The kitchen is open 8 to 10 p.m. But yeah, basically the price comparing with the other campings, it's a little bit more, but it's fair enough for the place itself, have a pool, um, guard um, uh, different uh, place for uh, for the kids for play, uh, wonderful a TV, uh, refrigerator, oven, stove. It's massive. The toilets are massive as well. But the most wonderful part it's winter, so it's not the season and it's not that much people. So it's perfect. The camping is for us, just for us. Um, well, as well there you have the microwaves, everything. Uh, we pay for the Empire side. Um, and power side and power side and was 25 per night per person and then well, of course you have a little more higher price if you pay with the power and if you pay for a cabin of course but perfect fair enough I really love it as well you have the grass it's a little bit higher so when you put your tent and you put your mattress <laughs> you have like the, it's like so good the, the perfect protection for winter so yeah I love this place. Um, what else? Yeah, let's see where where we're gonna go today in in Melbourne. Whoop. Yeah, I love the sun when you go up in Australia. That's the beautiful part. Um, so yeah, basically there you have different options. That's really good places to put um, a camper, places for park your car. Uh, the toilets are over there, the pool are over there, what else, reception on front, but like I say before, if you book before you get to the camping is perfect because you don't, you don't mind if uh, the reception is closed after 5, 6 or 7, whatever, you can get whenever you need, but yeah, try to book before you get there, so call them, can permit or whatever the app you use, call them, and book them, book with them, and once you have the booking, they're gonna let your keys or the map on the front with the code, so you get with the code, and yeah. I'm gonna try to go late to the pool, but what? <laughs> this is sleeping, the locks over there. All right, perfect, let's have a breakfast. Brilliant, here we are reporting in Melbourne, we take to Melbourne, and we <laughs> we are not doing that much in the city, but we are in the cinema in Emax. Looks is a big place, it's massive and it's wonderful. I saw the next movies coming soon. It's well the Jurassic War. I watched for say Jurassic Park by Jurassic World. And then we have the some movies more, Disney, and there, and I saw oh my god, look at the movie as well. But I'm trying to wait for Avatar. I don't know if you like Avatar, but I love it. It's not right now in the there in the screen, but yeah, there you can see it on the corner. And I'm gonna show on top of here Nimax. We didn't drive that much around, and we didn't warm that much. Like there we go, more closer. We didn't with that much around, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And. Um, then we have the, um, the stairs, the electrical ones. Um, ouch. They on top, we have the shift. I don't know why I show. <laughs> like if you're coming to Brice, to Melbourne, sorry. If you're coming to Melbourne, yeah, for sure you have a lot of stuff to do. The only thing I saw I didn't like was the traffic, a little bit chaotic. And then the rest, really beautiful. The city in general, beautiful. The, infrast the infrastructure of like the buildings and that stuff are uh, really cool and we can see the, the stairs okay perfect i don't know why i'm, <laughs> I'm recording this video and i say nah i don't gonna do this video for three minutes if i'm not showing really what is in melbourne but yeah pretty much the exit and there we go. 
massive. It's this place here in the city center in somewhere. And there we have some buildings over there, pretty much the city center. We are turning back to Brisbane to yeah it's a Mel Melbourne Museum so we are in the museum <laughs> um, we are coming back to Brisbane because I have to do again the farm jobs and yeah pretty much we have to turn back and then I'm gonna do a few days farm job and then <laughs> I'm gonna do the road trip to Cannes in the motorbike so that's gonna be a little bit different because it's gonna be in the motorbike and not in a car so I don't gonna bring the mate and yeah, pretty much in the car we, we take a lot, a lot of stuff. But in the motorbike will be like tricky to have many stuff. So gonna be pretty much the tent, mattress, the sleeping bag, and that's it. And well, some clothes of course, and food day by day. 